Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. If your electric oven is not heating, here are the top six most probable causes. When you select the bake or broil function, the oven control allows voltage to travel to the bake or broil element, closing the circuit and causing the element to heat. If the element fails to glow red, then it's likely that the component has burned out. You can often determine that an element is burned out by checking for any visible breaks or blistering. You can also use a multimeter to test the element for continuity, a continuous electrical path present in the part. If the element tests negative for continuity, it will need to be replaced. To fully operate, most electric ranges require 240 volts of alternating current, running through two legs of voltage, each carrying 120 volts. If one leg of voltage is shut off by a tripped breaker or blown fuse, the oven may not be able to heat. If you suspect the electrical outlet is not providing sufficient voltage, you can test the outlet using a voltage meter set to volts AC. Be aware that readings can vary between 210 and 240 volts. A loose or burnt wire connection could also be responsible for the oven not heating. The bake or broil power supply wires will commonly burn out near the heat source and will appear visibly damaged. On some models, a thermal fuse will blow if the oven gets too hot, shutting off power to the oven. As with the elements, you can use a multimeter to test the thermal fuse for continuity to determine if it needs to be replaced with a new one. Depending on your model, the oven control may be switch-based with a thermostat and sensing bulb assembly or an electronic control board that works with an oven sensor. The thermostat or sensor monitors the oven temperature. When the selected temperature is reached, the oven control shuts off the voltage to the element. This cycle repeats throughout the cooking process to maintain the proper temperature. If the thermostat or sensor is defective, the oven may not heat at all. You can use a multimeter to measure the sensor's resistance at room temperature. The meter should display approximately 1100 ohms of resistance. If not, the sensor should be replaced. If the sensor shows accurate resistance when tested, the oven control board itself could be malfunctioning. While the board cannot be easily tested, you can inspect it for signs of burning or a shorted out component. For additional troubleshooting information, enter your appliance's full model number in our website's Repair Help search bar. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.